Hey, this is Ronald from Mad Hat Steelers University, and today I encountered another problem with my Armada washer machine that I had to fix, but I also wanted to find that technical reference manual. So when I run diagnostics, I want to know how to read the error code so I can replace the appropriate component or whatever I need it. Knob and turn it around twice, counterclockwise, back to 12, go one, two, three to the right, one to the left and one to the right. All the lights are going to blink except the lid lock. So now I can actually look at each stage of the washing process to see if there's a particular component that went bad. For example, it could be my water level switch. It could be my water inlet valve. It could be the circuit board. It could be the wash basket or the tub. But this will let me know what exact component is faulty. And if there's a problem, there will be multiple lights flashing. You'll know something's wrong. This is the Amana wash machine. If you go back here, take the hoses off. You don't have to do what I did here. Hope I didn't break anything. But... You take the hoses off there, but I just kind of propped it out. And there are two small screws. And they look like this. One over here on the top and one down here in the corner. And the same thing on the other side. Now, once this is open, you have your circuit board way down there to the right and some things over here to the left. But you can see that piece of paper right there. That's your technical reference manual like this and I'm gonna pull this puppy out and this is what they don't want you to know about this is why they prefer that you call them and I get it so if you know what you're doing don't play with it for those of you who are techies you can go into diagnostics like that and try to figure out the code yourself I blew this up for a second just to give you an idea of how this works but here's your wash rinse spin and done mode and these are some of the alerts and then down here you have different error codes and E1, E7. So it tells you as you go along that cycle where you are in terms of what light should be on and off. And then you can look at the codes and figure out, okay, this is on, that's off, but this kind of corresponds to these. If I go over here to the right and look at some of the codes, some of the errors, I'll get this. Now there are some common errors that you may get like this. F0, E2, over suds, E5, off balance load. But here's a main control fault, a motor control fault, right? So it goes on and on. With the problem with the spin, our problem was a basket speed fault, motor fault. Then over here, you have components and you have terminals. Shifter motor, drive system, optical sensor. And if I go over here to the service parts, and I provided this link below, you'll see all of the 32 components that comprise or put together this washing machine. But you can always look these up here and then go find them on Amazon. I also provided the manuals. And as you can see, the basic manual is 45 bucks, and they have different prices. And the manual I just showed you is top when you find yours in your washing machine. It's going to say for technical service representatives only on the top of it. If you have any comments, ideas, suggestions, or tips for us, please leave them below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and wishing you and yours the very best in 2025. Peace.